That's why Evan Turner leads Ohio State in assists as well as scoring and rebounding. Meanwhile, Kevin Koble puts the Wildcats on the board with a triple of his own. Six to shoot. Koble in the corner. Nice shake and got it. Ooh, that looked good. In rhythm, because he can shoot the basketball with distance, you have to close out. He uses your momentum, one dribble pull up. That game that Steve talked about in East Lansing. It is, and Illinois is still right in the race, but it comes down now to have a big game coming up against Michigan State. Must win. That's a must win and stay in contention. And look at the distance on that shot by Michael Thompson. It is, and I'm just so surprised that Ohio State with Lauderdale and Mullins and with all that size and that they can't rebound the basketball, but Northwestern, they can shoot it. Oh. Mm. Moore from the corner, another one. Northwestern with the ball, trailing the Buckeyes by four, halfway through the first half. Kevin Coble with a triple. And the reason why for Coach Comedy, because he knows they don't rebound the basketball yeah. well, so they need all the possessions they can get. Well, Mullins just turned it over. Here come the Wildcats, trailing 18 to 17, 9 10 to play first half. On the drive, Craig Moore with the left hand. Oh. You gotta love it. Craig Moore. And Thad Mata is living. He called a timeout and he almost grabbed three Buckeyes before they could get even halfway off the floor. Look at Thad Mata. Nash passing it up. Shot clock at eight. Moore penetrating. Coble, nice pump fake. The floater goes. You cannot guard him. It has to be a team. Defensive principles and concept to keep him out of the paint. Flip shot to go down again. He has a dozen. Out with the flu. John Sherna, bothered by the flu, has played sparingly. Craig Moore with a triple of his own. He does a lot. It won't show up in the stat sheet. But you're ask, asking him to guard bigs. He plays defense. And goes How did he get that? Oh, that's goaltender. Come from behind the arc. Six of seven. Raleigh against Turner. Turner shoved him. Raleigh finished it. And he picked Northwestern over the Buckeyes, Indiana, Wisconsin, Pitt, and Georgetown. So he was a, a heck of a catch for Northwestern. Michael Thompson with a skip pass to Nash. Nash, reverse layup. It's not Evan Turner. That's Mullins behind you now. Turner forced the pass, picked off by Coble. Sherna into the front court on the drive. Oh, got it in the foul. As you see, almost 12 points a game over the last four, but tonight he's played sparingly because he has been sick all day with the flu. Northwestern has now scored eight unanswered points, and they've come from 12 down to within four. And the momentum is in the favor of Northwestern. An unbelievable play by Coble to spots. From the corner, Craig Moore with another three ball. Recruits in the country coming out of high school. Coble, tough shot. Northwestern was down 12. Now they lead by one. Coble against Lauderdale. Seven to shoot. Coble, good defense by Lauderdale. In traffic, muscling it up and in is Jeremy Nash. That might be the play of the game. Both bogged down by the flu. Moore for three. Mm, you got to get out. Moore are giving us tonight. Moore has six triples. Coble with a three ball. Well, we said before, inside Raleigh scores over Mullins. Six to shoot, Thompson almost to charge. This is Coble. Coble on the drive. Coble got another one. He has 23. He's had a terrific night with 17 points. This is Sherna on the cut. Do you start to get some doubt in the back of your mind if you're Northwestern? Maybe not, huh? I don't think so. 61-60, <laughs> four minutes to play. Another white knuckler in the Big Ten. Coble for three. <laughs> Count it. Knock it down. He has 26, does Kevin Coble. And the Wildcats back up two. Shot clock at 17. More for three. He got another one. He has. 
has 20. And if they can score right now, this will put a lot of pressure on the Buckeyes. And uh-oh, Craig Moore. Wow. 23 points for Moore. He and Koble have combined for 49. You want to take the last shot unless the guy's wide open. You don't throw the basketball down into Riley. Sherta for the win! Point three seconds left, the three ball. Well, John. it's not a win yet, but it <laughs> is three seconds away from being a game winner. John Cherna, when you look at it, you say no, no, no as a coach because it's too early. You want to take the last shot and leave no time, but guess what, Cherna say, hey, I'm wide open. I want to make this shot and put some pressure on Ohio State. What a big time shot by Cherna. Most of his shots have been short yeah. tonight. That one right on the money. The inbounds coming from Jeremy Simmons. This is Jeremy Simmons. He gets it to Diebler. He got the shot off, but it was too late. The Wildcats can't prevail. <laughs> Northwestern comes from 12 points behind in the second half, and John Sherna gives us our Hampton winningest play of the game, a three ball from the right wing with three seconds to play. The Hampton winningest play comes from John Sherna, the freshman. What a play. I mean, he shot that one and might have got fouled on that play as well. But what a big shot by John Sherna, a kid who was questionable playing tonight because of sickness. And you said it, sometimes you have your best games when you're sick. Well, that is going to do it from Evanston, Illinois. The final score tonight, Northwestern 72, Ohio State 69. For Steve Smith, I'm Tom Hamilton. Coming up next, Big Ten tonight, the finale presented by Hampton. Northwestern, so many heartbreakers tonight. That heart mended just a little bit. They stunned the Buckeyes. So long, everybody.